All right, what do we got? All right, we got a 15 Jetta cleaning up somebody else's mess. We got some brilliant guy. Didn't think they had to tighten the drain plug. So not torquing the drain plug properly. Making a good seal. This plug is uh, stuck here forever. So that's fun. So now we're going to put a uh, $400 oil pan on. We got a lot of 10 millimeters, so we're making our way around. Oh, you got to take that off. You don't just do the bottom. No, I never, never actually seen just the bottom. Straight up in here. Little trick. When they're stuck in with the glue, you just keep holding them in reverse. 316. That's really good. Someone been in there? Or? Yeah, I think so. Well, the hardest two bolts of the little job are right up in here. What are you using? I'm using this ten with a built-in universal. A bit of an angle. Look straight up here, you see it? Yeah, I can see, I'll look from the side. A little pry bar. Pop it down. Look at all, all that metal from our strip. Green plug, uh, fantastic. Quick cleanup. You've been doing this a while. You've been into these cars for a while. You'll notice this has the white sealant that was first found on like the MK fours. I don't know why they never changed. Obviously, this is the same motor still, but this sealant must take up a bigger space than the black. That's why they stay with this white stuff. That's just a guess, but... Why would you do the green? Is that just for... The green is for metal to metal. This is... Oh, okay. The green is for machine to cut surfaces. This is not machine? No. This is cast. They don't cut this panel for here. Okay. That cylinder head with the green they, that comes out one piece and they cut it, they mill off that top piece. Gotcha. I'd really like to see the video of that. I mean, they ain't perfect, but they're pretty decent. Looks good. Tail scraping here. Using a smaller scraper just to get in the corners.
What kind of scraper? It's a, a flat scraper. Carbide or? Yeah. This is the rear main seal. You gotta be careful with this because it's partially rubber over here. Parts department, and they're telling me that it goes to this black sealant now. Uh, sometimes you just gotta take their word for it, unfortunately. So let's go here. Nice thin bead will work just fine. number for that? This is a uh, D176501A1. Get that last little, just before you tuck it up in there and wipe. Alright. Remember, don't put any of them in sight yet. <clears throat> keep it casual so you get them all started. Now the first one goes straight up in. to our universal 10. These are the ones you want to be the most careful with. Still the same bolt or a different the bolt? Same exact bolt, but if you strip these, you can't fix them. I see a lot of people I find these to be stripped in a lot of cars. It's kind of embarrassing. Putting that guy in loose till I find a new one, a replacement for him. Just get close.
You get a nice even beat on the outside. Always remember what you see on the outside is also probably on the inside. So if you see a big glob coming out, you know you got a big glob inside the engine. We get a replacement for this, and maybe I'll try to fix this really quick. What are we doing here? All right, we just use a thread chaser. Let's clean that little bit of crap out of there. You can see it goes right in nice. Tighten these all up hand tight, nothing crazy, just try to keep them even. I don't torque them because they're pretty thick and this gasket typically seals. I'm just being honest with you. We're going to let this sit for about 30 minutes, then we're going to add oil, obviously inspect for leaks, and then move on. T25. Got some good lighting today. Already four and a half quarts. 